Hey guys, this is Dice Kimura here, and I want to talk about shoulder pain from playing guitar. Okay, um, as you can see, this ice pack. I just actually did some rehab, and I just worked out my shoulder. I uh, I'm on the mend. I tore my rotator, just a slight tear from playing guitar, and I want to talk about how it happened, why it happened, and what you can do if you're going through this stuff. So. Particularly today, I'm going to talk about the right shoulder, if you're right-handed, talking about your strumming hand and the abuse and the damage that comes through playing guitar or playing guitar too much, if that were possible. I didn't know it was possible to play guitar too much. But anyway, let's just turn the air off here. Okay, so what happened to me was, I am a pro, by the way. I've been playing for 36 years, 37 years almost. I've been playing full-time for about 20 years, and so understand that when I say this, I can't rest when I want to rest. I am booked, like I have work to do, I have to practice for shows, I have to teach people, I have students, I'm in rehearsals, and I'm, you, I have to work through my pain, you know? And so, um, how did I get injured? Well, I, I, got, I heard it, I, I had an intense prolonged period where I was in the studio, and believe it or not, uh, like this was actually two years ago. So you see me, uh, maybe just under two years, yeah, it was around two years ago when I went in the studio and heard it, okay, and I'm still dealing with it. And, and, I, and there's reasons why I'm gonna explain to you in, in the video why it's such a prolonged injury. Um, so the shoulder pain, it came from playing this strat, okay, and uh, I was practicing, I was sitting down and I was practicing for, for a recording multiple hours a day, and I was working really hard. And I was just playing, notice how far back my shoulder is, and I was sitting down, I was playing, and um, I had a lot of shoulder pain, and I fought through it, and I got through the recording, and a lot of it had to do with being tense and jacked up and, and being back really far, of, of using strength while pulling it back, okay? Um, and if you're watching this video, I'm sure you can relate, okay? What can you do to alleviate the pain? Um, Obviously, you can PT, you can ice pack it, but I'm not going to get too much into the PT side because there's a lot of really good videos about PT, physical therapy for the, for the rotator. I want to talk specifically about guitar players and what's causing the injury and how to avoid uh, these types of injuries. So what I'm doing, um, what I did at first, I got the injury from playing a Strat, okay? Also, I want to show you uh, playing an acoustic, okay? Here's an acoustic. And if I go to play the acoustic, it's the same situation with the shoulder. It's a little less intense for me on acoustic because I'm just more in the wrist, rotating the wrist. Where's my pick? I'm rotating the wrist like this more as opposed to like a vigorous right hand. Okay. But what ended up happening was I had to initially, I switched to a telly. And I made my telly my main guitar just because the location of the bridge is a little bit more forward and it gave me a break and the strat was further back, okay? Also in the seated position, I started using one of these, let me spin it up. I started using this foot pedal, which actually is for classical players, one of these guys. Uh, you can get it on um, online, just Google like guitar foot pedal or classical foot pedal. And you put the pedal down on the floor for your left leg. So I raised my left leg and then my right leg, I put the guitar on my, on my left leg and then now I'm playing seated like this which a lot of heavy metal guys do, by the way, just because it gives them more access and visibility to the fingerboard, but it also alleviates the stress from here. But this is not my main go-to because I perform, I play for a living, so I really can't be sitting with a classical stool all the time on stage. What I started doing was standing up, let's see if I have to adjust the camera. All right, well, you can't see my face, but I'll just stand up. But I stand up and I'm playing like this, and I'm playing, I'm actually, this, I actually raised this guitar. Um, just a little bit because I had this strap on a different guitar where I needed it a little higher but I even usually play it a li little lower and I, I learned to play with my arm way down here okay so I, I apologize it's really it's really like usually even further down like this okay but uh, for the sake of this video I'll just leave it here but I learned to play with the guitar lower and I'm standing in plank so what I do now is I'm standing Pretty much all the time. I'm standing all the time. I've gotten through my injury. I'm pretty much through it, but I don't want to re-injure it. I play full time. I'm playing eight, six, six, eight, ten hours a day, six days a week. You know, so 
actually seven days a week. I play even on my day off. I got performances and stuff to do on my day off. But um, I'm always playing. So I have to learn how to cope with this pain. Um, I've, for the most part, the best answer I can give you is stand up and, and lower your guitar, okay? And then try to uh, play around with different guitars or maybe even different form um, to alleviate the pain. Also, if pain is bad, okay, if you're in pain, if you're starting to ache, there's some stretches you can do, there's some exercises you can do, and trust me when I say don't let it get too bad. It'll, it'll keep getting worse and worse and worse and you'll need surgery eventually. I did have reconstructive surgery on this shoulder about 11 years ago, I remember. It was the day after Christmas, 2010, and uh, it was rough. Um, I play guitar for a living. I had to take two weeks off and then I started working again, even though I was in a big old sling and everything. But the thing is, is um, the rehab and the recovery is very slow because you're using that shoulder. And shoulders, it's one of the hardest places to get blood to. It's the hardest joint in your body to get blood to. It's way easier to get blood to your knees or your hips. That's why most surgeries tend to heal a lot faster. But the shoulder doesn't get as much blood, not nearly as much blood. Also, the shoulder is very unique. It, it has rotation 360 degrees. It's not like your other joints where like your knee just goes back and forth. The shoulder uses, I believe, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe there's 15 different muscles. All you doctors can chime in if you can. I'm, I'm just a guitar player. But I've had so much work on these shoulders, and especially this one, that I've started to learn the names of the muscles and how they interact and all this stuff. So uh, if you're experiencing pain, the best thing to do, obviously, is take a couple days off, start icing your shoulder. And uh, there's stretches and warm-up you can do before you play, okay? Um, you may not be willing to do that. I know I wasn't willing to do that. I just wanted to jump in and play. But if you're in enough pain, you'll start to be open and willing to stretches and warming up, believe it or not. Um, also, like I said, dropping your guitar and then changing your guitar. Switch to a telly, switch your knee, uh, stand up and use a strap. All of this stuff works really well, okay? Um, so this is stuff I continue to do even now. I'm, and now I'm free of pain. But what I'm doing now is I'm still going to the gym and doing my physical PT for my shoulder to continue to keep it strong because I continue to play guitar and I know that I'm continually at risk of tearing it and wearing it down, which I don't want to do. So um, I rely on the shoulder. That's what I do for a living. So anyway, um, I really want to hear your stories and your opinions. Please comment below. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, so I'm going to refrain from how to do the PT. Um, but if you really want that, comment below and I could do another video. But uh, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching.